Today's drawing is from Superbook. Uh, this is one of those shows that was pretty rare. My brother and I watched as a, as kids, um, mainly probably because it was a Christian show, and so it was only on CBN. Um, so definitely not as probably, I guess, accessible as most other cartoons. Um, and I just very have very vague memories, and I think my memories kind of jumble up the other show called The Flying House, which I need to do some research because now I can't really remember the differences and stuff. I just vaguely remember this show, and now that I look back on it, this is a really legit 80s cartoon. It was um, anime, too. It was done in Japan and then shipped over to be voiced over in America and probably other countries too. Um, what I really like about this show is the innocence of it and just the cute characters. And and what I like too is that it's, even though it's a Christian show, you, it seems like a lot of times you find Christian media is so focused on trying to get a message across, um, which is good, but People often forget about just the fun of imagination and and stuff because it's, it's the you're trying to bridge a fence of telling a true story, which is the Bible, um, and then make it fun like most cartoons, which are not true stories; they're just imagination and, and adventures and stuff and fantasy. And so, how do you how do you make a fantasy story that's also teaching truth? It's always been it's always been a bridge for me to try to gap in my own art, like because I love fantasy and I love surrealism and I love um, abstract art and stuff like that. But then, how do you how do you convey the gospel message through all that? It's 
kind of hard to think about how you do that. And apparently this show, I, I really kind of want to go back and watch episodes now because I don't remember a lot. Um, but just kind of reading through Wikipedia and stuff, getting the plot line, it, it looks like a really fun show. And they were able to, you know, have these cute characters in modern times and going on adventures together and stuff. Um, but they had this way of time traveling and going like to the biblical to the biblical stories um, apparently so they the first season of this came out in the early 80s they ran a season and then the other show flying house came out which i'm not sure now if that's even related to this or not but it was it came out for like a season or whatever and then superbook 2 came out which i don't know why they called it superbook 2 and really it was just season 2 um i think the characters grew up just a little bit and then their little cousin or brother depending on what you read <laughs> joined the the adventures and then of course like almost everything that's really cool from the old days it gets a reboot <laughs> and of course everybody wants to give it the modern treatment um, and so they've rebooted this one they started in 2011 and they're still running it i guess i haven't seen any of them i've just seen the images um, and i'm sure it's good i'm sure it's fine i just I don't know why they always have to take the old stuff and put different spins on it and change everything and course use computer animation and it's just like if you're going to change it that much why not just do a new thing i think what i read though to their credit is the new one isn't isn't just a, a remake it's in the future i think i'd rather than do that just like we can continue the story like at another time with then you can change the characters and everything all you want. And that's okay. So this little guy is Gizmo. He's a toy that comes a lot comes to life in like the first the very first episode. All right, now it's time to see him. Stop. Thank <laughs> you. 
store. stop I was a 